Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you two cards that I made at my Stamp and Chat Zoom meeting last Thursday. The first one is a simple stamping card. So this is one colourway with Pretty Peacock, Gorgeous Grape and Pear Pizzazz. And this one is with Merry Merlot and Shaded Spru... Uh, no, Pretty Peacock again and Old Olive. Uh, the second card I'm going to do is it's called a split card technique when you take a bit less than half a sheet of A4, score it down the middle and this is going to be two card fronts done in one go. So as you can see I've started off already. I've stamped with the larger leaf. Um, I've start stamped uh, that to the top right hand corner. I'm going to ink it up again in shaded spruce and this time I'm going to do it to the bottom left hand corner like that. Then I'm going to take the eucalyptus stamp and I'm going to stamp this in cherry cobbler, which I think will give a bit of a Christmas feel to this card, which I'm not a big one for doing Christmas cards at this time of year, but might be different this year with the release of the mini autumn winter catalogue at the on August the 4th. So that's the st second stamp done. And then the third one is going to be this smaller leaf stamp. And the lovely thing about these leaves is you can do them in all sorts of colours and the cards come out looking completely different. I'm going to do one there and then I'm going to do one probably there. And I might even do one up there. So this is going to look a bit different from the other ones. So there's the card finished. And then what I would do um, is mount it on Old Olive and then it's um, a Cherry Cobbler card base. And I've already done a thank you there. So I'll just stick that on like that. And then it will just need some embellishment. So very quick and easy thank you card. And you could vary it by doing it in various different colours. Um, so the next card I'm going to show you will be using um, a blue Bermuda Bay on the card. So there you go. And then one thing I probably also would need to do is just use this little very useful spotty stamp that comes in the set. I think on this one I'll do it in the Cherry Cobbler. It would look rather nice. So I'm just going to do a little bit uh, up there. And then perhaps a little bit down there and then a third one there. And that's the card done and dusted. So that's the one we've just done. There's another one and there's another one again. So you can see how different they all are. OK, so that's that card done. Uh, this is more an avid um, crafter card. I've uh, ruched up some ribbon there. It's got um, some little die cut embellishment leaves that come in with the bundle with the dies. Uh, one there in Merry Merlot, that one in Pretty Pink, in um, Petal Pink. And then there's some stamped images as well. So here's my piece of very vanilla cardstock, which has been scored down the middle. Um, and we're going to do a card. This is just one half of the card done as a landscape. Equally, I could have the other one as a portrait. So I'll just show you how I actually made this. I'm just going to put away these inks. I'm going to hang on to... In fact, I don't need any of the ones I just used in the last card because I'm doing totally different colours. So this time I'm using Bermuda Bay and Old Olive and Gorgeous Grape. Old Olive used to be a bright actually, Bermuda Bay and um, Gorgeous Grape are bright. Old Olive used to be a bright but now it's a regal interestingly enough. So what I must remember to do, disaster if I don't, is to clean off my stamps otherwise I'm going to mix up the um, inks on my ink pads and if I put a darker stamp that's been stamped, inked in a darker colour on a lighter ink pad I'm going to uh, change the colour of that ink pad as it were. So right I'm going to start, I'm going to use this stamp this time which is the largest leaf stamp in the set. I'm going to ink it up in Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to do it in this corner like that and then I'm going to do it so it's really like reflecting it one way and the other. Then I'm going to do one careful to get the um, stem in the middle here that and then I'm going to do a little bit there and a little bit there. So that's that one done. Now I'm going to take uh, this stamp which I'm going to do in Old Olive. So if I just do a little bit there and a little bit there, there and a little bit just up the top here like that. And then I'm going to take the eucalyptus stamp and do this in gorgeous grape. So a little bit there and there. 
And it's really fun this because you're just playing around with positioning the stamp in different places. A um, little bit of purple up there and then just a little bit sneaking in down here as well I think would be nice. And perhaps just a little bit more there, a little bit more there. Um, and then if I just get these out of the way, I would cut it in half. So I've got uh, my trimmer here. <clears throat> so here's my Stampin' Up trimmer. And I can cut it down the middle. Just put it on the... On the just cut it straight down the middle and... Whoops. There you go. As you can see, you've got this one, which you could have as you could either have both of them as portrait, or you could have one as portrait and one as landscape. And then all you have to do is do a sentiment there. But one thing I've just realised I've forgotten, which would be quite nice to do, and that is to put a little bit of this tiny accent stamp. I love accent stamps. So I think this time I'm actually going to do it probably in um, the Bermuda Bay would be nice just to give a little bit of accent here and there a little bit there, there and one up there and it's a really useful little stamp this usually as you remember we do things in three one three five odd numbers so there you go that's done and dusted so I hope that you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. That's to show one of the finished cards using this quick technique. And that's on a gorgeous grape uh, mounted base. And then it's on a very vanilla uh, card base. So hope you enjoy this video. Bye.